Hi everybody, this is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. Just want to do a little update on another fantastic rain gutter grow system. Uh, Randall Scott, I'm not sure where Randall's from, but uh, Randall uh, posted these pictures, and I'm going to go through them with you, on uh, our rain gutter grow system group page. We have a, now have a group page in addition to the regular self-watering rain gutter grow system. I'll put both the links to both of our pages underneath the video here. We started the group page uh, that way people can share information back and forth and, and it's been working out fantastic. Anyway I know some of you don't have Facebook or don't even want to go on Facebook so this is the reason I'm going to kind of narrate and go through uh, the pictures with you on here and uh, and I'll read the captions that he put and he did some pretty good captions uh, uh, above each picture so I can describe it to you but the real another it just amazes me some of the systems these guys are building you know um, like I said it's it's just been a little over a year that I put out my first video on the self-watering rain gutter grow system and it's just expanded people are building this system all over the world now and uh, this is just another impressive impressive system that uh, Randall has got here and uh, so let's go through it here's the first picture and Randall's got my little buddy Elvis that must be his dog's name with his favorite toy shot facing southwest showing all five rows and he's got five rain gutter grow systems going here pretty pretty slick next here he's got some zucchini that looks really great and the next one is a yellow zucchini that looks really healthy really looking good here he's got uh, 1.7 pounds each one of them so uh, yeah nice looking zucchini Let's see, here's where the watering is supposed to start. But as you see, not done yet. Gonna get going, Larry. You're right. It'll keep you busy. Well, I found that out the first year when I only put the one float in to decide uh, what I was gonna do. Uh, you're busy filling these a couple times a day on hot days. So he's uh, he's got all his floats in place here. He's just about ready to get it all hooked up, which uh, he does. Let's see the next picture here. Like it says PVC heading down to the line to feed each 10 footer and I see he's got a shut off valve on each one so if he wants to take one out of service or whatever he wants to do he's all set up to do a nice job looks really good and I like the idea of the nice little pads cement pads he's got uh, to uh, adjust everything it looks really nice clean set so looks great next picture it says zucchini on the left two watermelon then the wild growing cantaloupe with Rome, Romano pole beans. I planted late after dad recommended them. Uh, yeah, boy, this looks great. Stuff looks super great. And it says, view facing east. The left row is some sad peas. Two cucumber plants producing very well. And last 14 green bean plants growing to the roof. Boy, they look really good. Yeah, they're really looking good. Kentucky Wonder and Blue Lake Green Beans. Hey, honey, go get the ladder. We're going to pick beans. Yeah, boy, they're really climbing up the side of it. They look really, really healthy. Dark green looks fantastic. Here he's got yellow squash on the left, got worms inside the stock. Performed an autopsy after it died and saw that they were destroying the core down close to the base. Broccoli and cauliflower are hiding the Brussels sprouts. So he's got some Brussels sprouts going in there too, but that, that stuff looks great. View facing southeast of the pepper and tomato rows. Got two Roma tomatoes planted late. But uh, yeah, they look good. They look very healthy. Nice clean setup. Looks great. Watermelons. There you I see looks uh, them either look like sugar babies. Could be in the buckets. But the watermelons, yeah, they look good. Watermelon and zucchini. Yep, that looks great. Here he's got, ah, cantaloupe. Mmm, 
Tasty, Homer Simpson voice intended. That's kind of cute. I like this. This row is running from north to south for shading reasons. Lettuce, chard, and mustard greens are doing much better with only morning sun. The pole beans, squash, and zucchini shade very nicely. Also have green onions, celery, short carrots, haha, radishes, and dill. The lettuce and other shallow root and water-loving plants grow very well in these 6-inch deep Sterilite storage containers with two net cups each. This I like. It's a neat concept to spread it out. And yes, in the smaller buckets, people say, well, what size buckets do I need for different things? Well, your lettuces, radishes, uh, Swiss chard, things like that. You can grow in, you know, shallower ones. You get a little more area, too. So this is kind of a slick setup. Okay, next picture. Grape, patio, red, and brandywine tomatoes. Oh, they look very healthy. Look very good. Pull them. Eat them. He's got on these radishes. Looks really good. Okay, east side done. Did this six roll specifically for lettuce and other plants that don't like full sun. Here in Arkansas, okay, he's in Arkansas, there we go, we have seen 100 plus degrees for over a week with low humidity of about 25% and even lower. Combine the hot southern sun, high temps, and dry air, you'll get wilted plants. We're only going to plant romaine, salad bowl, and Grand Rapids variety lettuce because a trial run showed it that they will grow in this climate. So yeah, he's got another setup going here. It's got a little bit of shade. Good idea. Okay, the presser, uh, pressure reducer attached to the PVC drops to 25 PSI. He must have some pretty high pressure. Uh, water input from outdoor spigot under upper right. Garden hose lower right and PVC running to reservoir left side. Going to the reservoir, okay. PVC headed to the reservoir. Ha ha, trash can. Hi Elvis, that's his dog. Taking a look. Okay. Barbed 90 degree fitting threaded into PVC attached to 5A's clear tubing going to float in the top of the tank. Okay, here you can see it. Float valve, it works. A barbed female 90 degree fitting threads right onto the float bell, okay? Three reasons for the reservoir. One, highly chlorinated water, chlorine can evaporate better. Number two, must much less pressure coming out of the tank going to the float valves. Hopefully they'll last longer with only gravity fed or gravity water fed to them. Number three, we fertilize with Miracle Grow and it's it's so easy to mix it thoroughly in a bucket and then just pour it into the tank. So I, I can understand his thinking behind that. Yeah, that's a good idea. If he wants to give him a little bump uh, to uh, do it, he can uh, mix up his miracle Grow, put it in this reservoir, and then this reservoir is going to go out and feed all the rest of his uh, rain gutter growth system. Bulkhead fitting from U.S. Plastics with a barbed 90 degree fitting in the bottom of the 5 base tubing feeding to the whole system. And let me also mention I will put a link on the bottom of this um, to uh, how to build the rain gutter grow so if this is the first time you've seen this system and never seen it before I'll, I'll put the float you can get like I said from US Plastics and all that. The uh, 3 inch net cups well, the links on there, I don't know if they have them in stock. Right? We've been cleaning them out. So many people are building them. You can just do a search on eBay. Uh, there's a lot of people selling three-inch net cups on eBay. But all the other information will be below the video link. I'll have a link to how to, how to build the system and then, and then click the Show More button below it. And I'll have all the links and information below that. Okay, next picture. Water supply going left to five rows and right to the new east wall row. Okay, nice setup there. You can see it coming out of his tank on the right there, going down and feeding to all the rain gutter systems. Okay, here he's drilled a hole and he has a three inch nut cup in the bottom of one of the buckets. Here he has, we're trying these deeper tubs for root vegetables. It's a 50 quart 
and this must be the number on it, 1848 Sterilite. Uh, just cut your holes where the plastic is injected into the mold. The spots are obvious on the bottom. There must be little input spots or you can see where the divots are where they when they vacuum formed the made the tub. But that's a great idea for carrots or or other deep rooted things. Uh, the double thing and uh, I think it's working great for him. Here he's got eggplant producing many flowers and attracting lots of butterflies. A nice looking eggplant. I have never grown eggplant and had no idea how beautiful they are. I never have grown eggplant either but boy this sure is pretty. Yeah, Very healthy looking plant. Little three pound hearts of gold cantaloupe. You talk about sweet. The best ever. And they tell you when they're ripe by falling off the vine. Boy, a really nice looking cantaloupe. Wow. So ripe the skin is very thin. These little melons come highly recommended. Just try them. You'll love them. Great. Cantaloupe roots are growing toward the water source. So you can see it's coming out the bottom there. But that is it for Randall Scott. He's got a little eat your greens thing at the end here. But... Uh, uh, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, Randall, thank you very, very much for posting it. Uh, like I said, folks, make sure you check, click the show more button below here for all the links. Check out our uh, group page. Uh, a lot of people sharing all kinds of different ideas and, and everything like that. But uh, Randall did such a nice job on this. I wanted to put it in some kind of format that I could share it with all you people that subscribe to my YouTube channel. And... Uh, so, hope you enjoyed this. This is Larry Brainerd. Ciao.